what are you saying about this setup? Is it a little bit too simple and basic? I don't know, because normally, you know, I've got butterflies in the background. I've got little lights. What are we saying? Do you know what, though? I'm going with my everyday... Oh, stop talking, Imogen. Basically, this is the setup. Oh, God. Hello, honeys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen. Thank you so much for finding me. Thanks for finding my YouTube space of Huns. I love you all so much. Please hit the subscribe button before you leave and give this video a like if you like it. So today, I created my everyday makeup routine. I have a little chat. I tell you a lot of things about Christmas. I show you my favorite Christmas present. Oh my goodness me. I love it so much. I also tell you a little story that happened to me in Costa, which it's a little bit of a rant. It's a little bit of a bad story time, but I'm telling you. I also use all drugstore makeup, so I understand there's lashes. You don't need to wear lashes. I love these big lashes. I haven't gone with any mascara on the bottom of my lashes. This is all drugstore. This is all drugstore. Yeah, I'm using the hands. I'm waving everything. You don't even know because I'm buzzing that this is drugstore. This is my go-to makeup routine. I literally do this all the time. Don't do this every day, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't wear makeup every day, but if I'm doing my everyday makeup routine, this is my go-to. This is my go-to. So without further ado, stop talking Imogen, because that's all you do. I love you so much. Please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's put on this makeup. In three, two, one. Love your life, Imogen's about to get there. I wish I could do editing where it just, yeah, stop. I hope you like this video. I'm buzzing off this makeup. I am buzzing. Hit that. Okay, angels, I thought we'd start with it really close. Well, obviously it's meant to be close. It's a makeup tutorial. Well done, Imogen. Okay, so I'm firstly gonna start off with my brows because what a great place to start. I mean, I always say to myself, I shouldn't start with my brows because then I have to go around with my foundation like really trying to get around those brows, but I always start with my brows, so whatever. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna take my Caprile by Benefit and I'm gonna take this in the number five. I normally use Soap and Glory Brow Wiz. Thank you for that, Imogen doesn't know where she's put it and we don't have spares in this house, thank you Imogen. So what we are gonna do is we're just gonna brush up our brows and we're also gonna get that little bit of dirt off our face, thank you very much. And so I'm just gonna brush up with the spoolie end of this Benefit brush, just so I can see where the underline is. Cute, cute. I actually poked myself in the eye, so if it's a little bit red, I really apologize. I was actually apologizing to myself because I wiped myself in the face. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a light soft line underneath. You try and get it as straight as you can, angels, because that's gonna help. We're still gonna carve out our brows anyway, because even though this is every day, we got a good look snatched every day. Actually, we don't, because most of the time, I literally just don't wear makeup. When I see some of you and I meet some of you out, I think to myself, they're seeing me when I've just got out of bed. Like, they must think, this is an image, and is it a catfish? Although, to be fair, you always see me with my makeup on at the beginning of makeup tutorials or in my vlogs. You know, a girl sometimes has to let her skin breathe. So what I'm not gonna do is touch the front section here too much. We've touched it a tiny bit by drawing that straight line, but I'm actually now just gonna go here and brush along very lightly. I've worked out that the lighter you are with makeup, not only does it look more natural, but you can build. It's easier to build than it is to take away. You know, when you go wrong with your makeup and you're like, why? Why? So with a really fine angle brush, you can brush up really light natural brush strokes to create a kind of hair, well actually no, to create hair. Do you know what I mean? Not actually create hair, oh. I try and explain things and the words just don't come out of my mouth, but how exciting. We're doing another makeup straw. So, as you can see, I'm just gonna keep brushing through. And also, if you use your spoolie, you can see any gaps. So just brush through and then I can see I've got a little gap there. Yes, I did just call it a gap and what? Oh my God, Hans, by the way, I'm gonna show you in a bit my favorite Christmas present I got. Oh my God. My mum came through. My mum came through, she's such a babe. I'll show you in a bit, but I hope my hun's had a really nice Christmas and New Year. Thought we'd start the year with an everyday makeup routine, so you know, it can see us into 2018. We can love our lives this year. This is our year, angels, this is our year. Don't let anyone tell you different. I keep winking, because his eyes hurting, because it's so bloodshot. Is it bloodshot? I hope you can't see. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is, I'm literally, yes, I'm gonna drop the back of my hand, because I haven't got any tissue around me. Thank you, Imogen, very prepared. So I'm just gonna wipe off what we had on that brush. What I want is a very light, natural front to create that ombre, so I'm just gonna brush up with what you have left on. I hate looking down, I always wanna look up at my angels. So I'm just gonna brush up. You can go flat edgeways, you can go diagonal edgeways, like it's going in the natural direction that it should fall. Do you know what I mean? 
Do you know what I mean, mate? I don't like a really thick and heavy brow for every day, but I do like to create that ombre effect just because I find it looks more natural. But correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong, but in my face, on my face, not in my face, on my face it looks more natural. And then if you want to add a bit more, make it a bit darker, and you can angel faces. I think I'm quite liking that brow. What are you saying, humbuns? I'll do the other brow because you don't want to watch me do that twice, do you? No. I didn't think so. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Why don't we rewrite the stars and can keep us apart? I'm not the one you were meant to find. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with that. I'm obsessed with that musical. I went to see it two times already. I've been to... Where's your English tonight, Imogen? Are you alright? Been to see The Greatest Showman twice and I am obsessed with it. I don't know why I'm putting concealer on the back of my hand, we're not even at that stage yet, Imogen, but I am obsessed with The Greatest Showman. Let me know down in the comment section if you've seen it and let me know what your favourite song is from it because I'm obsessed with Rewrite the Stars and This Is Me. <gasps> the words in This Is Me. So I'm going to take the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is actually my favourite, as you can see, I've rubbed it off there because I've used it so much. Yes. Oh, by the way, did I tell you the colour? Yeah, both of these are in the colour 5. I hope I did tell you that. Otherwise, if not, tap on the back of the wrist for you, am I, mate? You're rubbish. Okay, we're just going to take this, this brow gel, and just run it through those brows. I do like clear brow gels, don't get me wrong, but I actually prefer ones with colour. I feel like it makes them look even thicker. Even thicker. I found that really hard to get out of my mouth. Even thicker. There you go. Apparently if you say something three times and it gets into your head. I don't believe that for a second. When you meet new people, apparently you're meant to say their name three times in your head. Doesn't work. I'm very good with faces. Not that great at names. Oh, I'm not that bad at names, actually. If all else fails, if I ever used to forget someone's name, I'd remember their face, I'd remember them. If all else failed, I'd always say to my brother, this is my brother Jacob. And then they go, hi, my name's Mandy. And I'd be like, Mandy, Mandy, I knew it was Mandy. Then what we're gonna do when we've done that on our brows, we're gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the concealer I'm using later on, so I always use the same concealer. Put a tiny bit on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take any flat definer brush. I'm gonna take this one, Morphe G20. I love this brush, especially for carving out brows, this brush, and also for cut creases. You need to be very precise for this angels, well you don't need to be that precise because Imogen's doing it so clearly it's not that precise and it's not that much hard work. Because if I can do it, you can do it. I used to go in too heavy and then all of a sudden you're like, oh I've done the wrong shape. But with going in lightly, lightly wins the race. It's like blending, I've worked out. The lighter you blend, the better the blend. Yes I just whispered that in a bit, it was like an advert. The lighter the blend, the better the blend. Cafe Nero. No, <gasps> not Cafe Nero. Oh, Speaking of shops, sorry, but Starbucks is my favourite. You know that's so the same Cafe Nero is like taboo here. Sorry for my hands that like Cafe Nero, but I have a story time about Costa that happened today. Would I go on Snapchat and tell my hands? Thought I'd share it for a story during a makeup tutorial, because you know me. I always have a story during a makeup tutorial. It's like it can't just be a silent little makeup tutorial. Why, Imogen? Why? Why can't you do that? Now I like doing it like this. Because we're just chatting. It's like then you're chatting with me in my bedroom. I prefer that. I'd much prefer that. I'm not good enough at makeup to just sit there and not talk. Some people are just so amazing. You don't even need to hear them talk because they're just that skilled. And you're like, you're amazing. But me, I talk to overcompensate. Then you can't see what match you're doing. No, I think this is going all right at the moment. So we've carved out the brows. We'll love our lives and I'll show you what we're going to do now. You wait for this Costa story. You wait. So we're going to take a tiny bit more of that concealer on the back of my hand. The Maybelline Fit Me. And I got this in the colour 10. I want to say it's 10. But apparently... It doesn't even know the number it is because it's rubbed off. Let's say 10. Okay, so I'm gonna take my favorite concealer brush ever, Morphe E3 or E8. No, it's E8, we're gonna go with E8. And I'm just gonna pick up that concealer, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this all over my lids, just because I have a little bit of coloration on my lids, and I like to just make them a really blank canvas when I'm doing my everyday makeup routine. And also, this just blends in the top line. Can you see that? Should I come closer? It just blends in the top line there. But yeah, cost up. Can't believe them, wait there. Just wait there, angels. We'll start the base and then I will tell you about it. We don't need to do our eyes first because it's not a heavy eye makeup look. If it was a heavy eye makeup look, normally I do my eyes because of the drop down and then I'll put my base on, but we're okay to do that. Well, we're okay, yeah, we're okay, you get it. Let me zoom you out a bit there so I can tell you this story while we're doing our base. Okay, so I'm gonna take the hair off my eyelash, thank you. I'm gonna take the Insta Strobing Highlighter in Gold Glow, obsessed, obsessed. Just gonna put this on the back of my hand. The back of my hand is everything. The back of my hand gets used for everything. Poor back of me and poor little hon. Stop there, stop right there, hold your horses. I'm gonna just hydrate my skin. So I'm gonna take the Vitamin E Hydrating Mist. 
if no one watched, I'll keep speaking to you while it goes into my mouth and I've got my eyes closed, but if anyone watched my 10 beauty hacks, this actually has the same ingredients as MAC Fix Plus, so if you're looking for a dupe, baby girl just found you one. I love to hydrate my skin before I put anything on it. Also, I'm going to put a primer, but I like to give my skin a little bit of hydration before I put anything on top of it, even a primer. I have normal to dry skin, and I feel like sometimes things can just get stuck in little crevices, so I feel like hydration just makes my life. So weird. Poor little liquid glow is just chilling there, but for the moment we're gonna take the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Love this primer. It makes your skin feel like a little angel. Not that we aren't angels, because we actually are. And if anyone tells you different, then tell them Imogen is holding her mirror like this. Yes, that's what she's doing. Can you hear the squeaky chairs come back to play? Yeah. Don't worry about it. New background, and I can't even get a good chair to work. This is awkward. Why do you put it on both hands, Imogen? It literally makes your skin, like, I can't explain it to you. Then, obviously, another bit of hydration. Give yourself a little spritzy sprue. Also, spray your beauty blender with it too because we can't get any more hydrated in this situation, angels. Then, finally, I'm gonna take the Rimmel Glow. What is it called? Oh, Imogen, where have you put it? Oh, Imo, what are you doing here? We're gonna take the Rimmel Insta Strobing there on my beauty blender and just pat it over the places I want to glow. So we're just gonna put it here, look at that. Sorry, but it's really nice. It's really subtle, but it really reminds me of MAC gold light strobe cream, but a third of the price. Coming at you with the dupes now, coming at you with the dupes. I love a good dupe, me. I love a good dupe. I'd love to do that half a face. You know when people do like half a face that's like 30 pounds and the other half of the face is like 460? Don't think I've got 460 pounds worth of makeup, but if you want to see that, then I will go and spend 460 pounds on makeup for months. If you want to see that, please let me know, but look at that. See, I'd go out like that. I don't know about anyone else, but you know I love to glow. I would go out like this. Look at the skin. I'm all about skin. We're about to cover it with foundation, but <laughs> you're not that much about skin, are you, babes? Right, let me get my foundation on, and then we'll start talking about this awful Costa story. Right, probably it's not going to be that awful, is it? Oh, God, I'm still going to tell you. I'm going to take the Maybelline Full Coverage Foundation up to 24-hour wear, and I'm telling you, this is my favourite foundation at the moment. I am obsessed with it. You don't need a lot, and it goes a long way. Normally, I use the Maybelline Fit Me in 220. Maybelline Fit Me? Don't put that in your mouth, I'm Jenny, you're all right. Yeah. Normally I use the Maybelline Fit Me, but I've been using this and I'm loving it. You can build this up and I mean it's full coverage. When it tells you it's full coverage, I'm going to take my Morphe M439 because I love this brush to put my foundation on and I'm just going to start going in. What colour did I get this in? Warm beige. Did I tell you that? Oh, I'm rubbish at this, aren't I? Warm sun, 36. There we go. Right, so basically, I went to the cinema this morning with my family. We went to see Greatest Showman for a second time and we went to the Showcase Cinema in Southampton and it is amazing like when i mean that cinema it has recliners it has recliners the ticket was only seven pounds right which is the exact same actually to go to the audience it's nine pound 35 so it was cheaper and it was unreal it's brand new it's insane anyway so i'm not going to go by the way underneath my eyes because i don't want to build up too much under my eyes because i do actually get creased under eyes and i understand i look a little bit funny right now but just bear with me i love you i'll make it work i promise before we went into the cinema my mum was like oh do you want to go to starbucks because obviously costa don't have your milk because i can't drink dairy i have a stomach problem i'll link that video below if you want to see it, if you don't know why oh the moment of truth going around the eyebrows and my mum was like, do you want to go to Starbucks? And I was like, no, it's fine. I found a drink from Costa that I can make it work. And it's really nice. And I add strawberry syrup into it. It tastes very similar to Starbucks. Not as good, but I still wanted to make it work. So we went to one Starbucks and he was like, sorry, we've run out of peach syrup. And I was like, it's going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those days. And you can just feel it in the air and you're like, it's going to be one of those days. Anyway, so then I said to my mum, why don't I go over to the cinema? Because I know there's a Costa inside there. Um, and I'll go to the Costa inside there. You all wait here. I bought them their food and that bought them their drinks. And then I went inside. So I went into the Costa indoors and there's one upstairs in the showcase cinema. So I went to the cinema and I was like, this is amazing. It was so big. It's brand new, blah, blah, blah. And then, hmm. So then I went up to the guy, and the thing is, I was on my own. There was a lot of people that had just been served. It was a very busy cinema. It was a Saturday, and there were a lot of people behind me. So I went up to the guy, and I was really friendly, and I, was, I could understand if I was being rude, but I'm not rude to people. I would never be rude to someone. So I said to him, I'm aware it's on your summer menu, but some people have some stock left. The peach tea, the peach iced tea. And he said to me, sorry, what? Like this. He went, sorry, what? And I was like, oh, is it possible to have the green peach tea? I know it's not on your list because I know it's a winter and I know it's a summer drink, but some people have the peach syrup left. And he went, I don't even know what you're talking about. I was so embarrassed because there were people behind me. And I was like, right. And the woman behind him was really shy. And she turned around, she was really quiet. And she was like, oh, no, we did have it, but um, it was on the summer menu and we, we don't have any stock left. And I was like, babe, 
babe, I completely understand. I was like, I'm so sorry, don't worry about it. I'll go to somewhere else. He went, no, no, no. I've worked in Costa for three years and you're either having a joke with me or you're lying. I said, and he, these were his actual words. I made a note in my iPhone so I could make a complaint because I was like, mortified. You know, he accused me of lying. He accused me of lying. And that riled me up because I was like, listen, babes, please don't accuse me of lying. I never lie. That's the one thing I hate being called. That's the one thing I hate being accused of lying because I just don't lie. My mum and dad always taught me it's just, it's not right. It's not right. You don't lie. And especially about a drink, I'm not going to lie. And I was saying to him, should I get up the menu? Because I had it two days ago. I had it two days ago in another Costa. And he went, I've worked in a Costa for three years and I know we don't have it. So can you just keep moving? Do you want a drink or can you just keep moving? And no one said anything. The guy behind me kind of looked at me like, he's not being very nice, but no one stood up for me, no one said anything. And I know if that was someone else, I would have been like, listen mate, don't speak to her like that. I know I would have said that. Anyway, he just laughed in my face. <laughs> so, you're just gonna stand there all day? I mean, Hans, he might have had a bad day. He might have had something happen. I understand that. That doesn't excuse being rude. Fair enough, be grumpy, be upset, be in a mood, fair enough. That doesn't excuse someone being that rude. How awful. So anyway, I went and spoke to his manager. I called my dad because I was like, Dad, I'm not around mum. I need mum. And I was like, go back to your mum. So I went back to mum. I explained it to mum. Mum was going mad. Mum and dad are the same person. They literally don't accept anything from anyone. They're like, no, no, no. I'm still rubbing this foundation. I don't need to, do I? Take our concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me in 10 while I keep continuing with this story because otherwise I'm just going to keep blending that so I'm just gonna put this here that's quite light but watch it does it does work my mum and dad are the same person by the way they will literally stand up to anyone for me like they love their children so much and I love how how strong they are and amazing they are they've always taught me to stand up for people when someone's being you know spoken to like that my parents are amazing I love them more than anything in the world but I went over to the manager and we spoke to the manager and do you know what when I went over to the manager do you know what she said she asked me was it da 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 I'm not gonna say his name but she asked me if it was him and I said yeah and I said why and she said I'm aware of him we've been made aware of him before he's actually had disciplinaries and I was like Right, okay babes. I was like, okay, so he's a regular person of doing this. So he didn't have a bad day. He's just not a very nice person. And she said to me, listen, I'm gonna go get you a drink. And I said, no, I don't want to drink, honestly, it's fine. I went, I went to Starbucks. I walked in there with two Starbucks, didn't I? Mum came back to Starbucks with me. She went and he's done this to customers before and I was like, any job I've worked in, I've had some rude customers. I've worked in a lot of jobs and I have had some rude customers, but they always say the customer's right. And even if the customer's not right, you're not rude to them, but I wasn't horrible. I was actually nice. I'm not even gonna start, but I'm so lucky I get to tell my lungs that. I'm so lucky I get to tell my angels. Okay, I'm gonna take the Rimmel Insta Duo Contour Stick in medium, and we're just gonna bronze up our face a little bit. I like to bronze my face up a little bit with a cream contour before I go in with the powder contour, just because I feel like it sits nicer. But I think this is a lot for every day. Every day, really, I don't wear makeup. But if I was to do my everyday makeup routine, this would be it. I'm gonna link all the products I've used below, by the way, and all the brushes, etc. But can you imagine if my hands were there? He wouldn't have done it if all my hands were there, would he? Because he would have realized we are a strong team. We're the strongest team, Angels, sorry, but we are. We're going into 2018 and we're gonna love our lives this year, I promise you. I'm sharing every single bit of my journey with you. I can't wait to meet more of you, have more meetups. Like, I just can't wait to see what this year brings us, Angels, I really can't. Okay, once we've got that base, which I'm really happy with, I'm gonna now take my Makeup Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour in Lat Medium. Why am I wearing a shirt and a jumper? I'm so hot, it's obscene. I'm gonna take the banana color for under my eyes. And I will show you. I don't bake on a daily. I'm just gonna set the under eye in any way you need to set. So I like to set on my eye, that, just to set that in place. Under my eye. I like sort of brushes like that because they're really pointy so you can fit them in there. They obviously have a technical term. I'm gonna say a pointed brush. And then I'm gonna go under my contour here. So I'm just gonna cut that contour a bit, you know? Cut it. You need to cut it. And I'm gonna go around here because I get little smile lines, because I'm always smiling, because I'm my angels, I'm always happy. So far, I'm buzzing off this makeup. Look, what are you saying? I'm saying I love it. Then we're gonna contour. Oh, no, we're not. Oh my God, I just had my contour palette open, right? And I leant forward, and yes, got that all over my black jumper. Thanks, Imogen, you little princess. Okay, to bronze up my face, I'm gonna take the NYX No Filter in the color Sand. No Filter Finishing Powder. And I'm gonna take any large brush, and let's bronze up our face before we give it a little contour. I really like finishing powders as bronzers because I feel like they give you a nicer finish sometimes. It's probably just me but oh my hair just wants to chill with me. Thanks hon. I don't look like Wednesday Adams in this or something from like I don't know but it's, I think it's cute. I like a shirt tucked into a little black jumper. I always talk just random things don't I? Okay then I'm going to take my light medium powder contour 
I've already told you about it, haven't I? Yeah. I'm going to take this warm colour and this cool toned colour, just because I like to have a little variation. Pop that. Yes to that then. Yes to this. I'm a little bit hungry, Hans. What do I fancy? Oh my god, my mum got me a crepe maker. She got me an actual one of the crepe makers. Yeah, yeah, love and life off Amazon. It's unreal. It's a little bit harder than it looks. I mean, they make it look easy. The people that make crepes, you know, when they go like that round with the wooden stick, they make it look so easy, it's not. You've got to be so quick, because that stuff dries, and you're like trying to move it around. It's already stuck, it's already dried. But I will get the hang of it. What's everyone's favourite dessert? We were having this discussion at dinner the other night, and I said, obviously before my stomach problem, but I like hot and cold together, so I love like a warm chocolate fudge brownie or a warm chocolate fondue. You know, the ones where you go like that with a spoon like that. Let's pretend this is a spoon, let's pretend this is a chocolate fondue, and you go like that, and it just crumbles away. And then I love it with ice cream, because I love the cold and the warm together. Let me know what your favourite dessert is, angels. Some people are more savoury, they like cheese boards, don't they? Never been that girl, I love chocolate too much. My dad was telling me about the time when I ate 22 chocolate bars. Yeah. In two days. Oh yeah, that's another story time though, angels. Shock! Got another story. Uh, you're gonna be like, oh no, why is there so many stories? Imogen, why? Why? Why, God? Why today? From Miss Saigon, love that. Sometimes I think like I look like I'm blending for so long, but it's not that, it's just because I want to talk to you all. I want to make my makeup tutorials last as long as I physically can. Oh, ignore me. Oh, ignore me. Then for my eye makeup, I like to go really soft. So what I'd normally do is I take my bronzer on any tapered blending brush and I just go into the crease there just to act as a transition, but it's not even going to be anything difficult or anything extraordinary. Just go over my lid as well as going into my crease. I just feel like it gives your socket a little bit more depth and opens your eyes a little bit more. And we're gonna go back to our contour palette and I'm gonna take this color here on a MAC 217. I'm just gonna go all over my lid with that color. It's a very soft orangey brown. Nothing extremely, you know, loving life, but I'm loving life. <laughs> I watch these tutorials and just think, where's this girl come from? And I'm gonna tell you. My mum and dad. <laughs> really, I do understand when I look at my mum and dad, I'm like, you're both very unique. Very unique. Call myself unique, but someone called me the other day limited edition. I was like, I love you. I love you. I love that. With my eye colour, I feel like this makes it pop a little bit more. It just makes it look nicer. You don't need to do anything on your lid. Sometimes I like wearing nothing on my lid, but just give myself a little bit of that, that. Then I'll put my lashes and my mascara off and I will come back in five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm aware, angels, I love you so much. I know these lashes are really extra for my everyday makeup look, but they're not everyday, they're not everyday, they're definitely not everyday, but if I was to have my go-to lash, this would be my go-to lash because I love the fact that they're big. Yeah, I do like the fact that they be big. I mean, I know they don't look natural, but I love the fact they have little gaps in between because it makes them look sort of, I don't know, pretty and it makes my eyes look bigger and I just love them. I love them. House of Lashes Iconic Light, I think they are. I love those ones. They're really small and sort of dainty. I love those ones, but you don't even have to wear fake lashes. You can wear whatever you want, Hans. Like, you can wear whatever you want. You don't even have to wear lashes. Just use a little eyelash curler and you're loving life. You love and laugh. Just threw my mirror on the bed, but I realised I needed her. I don't put any mascara on the bottom lashes just because I find that for my everyday, I know I've got these massive lashes on, but you know, I like to have my eyes a bit more open. But when I put mascara on the bottom lash, it makes it look a little bit more heavy. So what I like to do is I like to take this NYX Baby Blue Cute Eyebrow Pencil. It's not an eyebrow pencil. Eye and eyebrow pencil. Eyebrow pencil, go on then, Hans. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna drag down with this and then place it on the inside, but I'm not gonna do it because I can't, you know. Because sometimes when I use a white eye pencil, it makes it look a little bit too harsh, but with the blue, the baby blue undertones, it just makes my eyes pop more, I think, anyway. And then I'm gonna take my Ultra Pro Glow Makeup Revolution Kit, and I'm just gonna go with my baby pinky finger. I'm gonna go with this one and this one. Cute. And I'm just gonna place that on the inner corner of my eye just to open it up a bit more. Just feel like it makes my eyes look a bit more wide. Wide eyes. Wide eyes. Not scary eyes, Imogen, I don't know what you were doing there. Isn't it weird when you go in your makeup bag, like you can't find the thing you need. You go through it three times and you're like, I definitely put it in there. Last time you go through there again, you go through there again. Oh, it's there, don't worry about it, it's there. We're gonna take, hallelujah, Revolution Liquid Highlighter in Luminous Gold. Oh yeah, we are, oh yeah to, we are, honey, to the bees. Stop talking, we're just gonna pat. Just there, like that. Little bit on our nose. Little bit above our lips. And I'm just gonna use my booty blender and just blend it in. Look at that glow. Look at that. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm living for it. 
I'm loving it. I'm going into 2018 glowing like every goddess in the world because that's what we are. We are goddesses and we need to glow. Like we need to appreciate that glow. If you've got normal to oily skin, appreciate the glow you have. If you've got normal to dry skin, let's give the glow that we need. Do you know what I mean, angels? We got this. Then, shock horror, we're gonna get a hydrating mist out. Wet our face a little bit just to get that back from powder. Because you know sometimes when you use a lot of powder, you're like, oh babes, where have you gone? My face is just 2D, I need it 3D again. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna take my favorite ever highlighter brush, and this is the Morphe N510, and we're going to go into these two colors again. Ready? Oh yeah. Oh, we were ready. Were you ready? Because I was ready. Go a little bit up to the brow bone. Look at that. Hello, Hans, my name's Imogen, and I am a glowing baby girl. Put a little bit too much on the end of my nose, didn't I? Don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. My everyday makeup, look, do you know what I mean? And I like to glow. Let's go with the blush angels. We're gonna go with the Bourjois Paris Rose. Rose. Which is actually pink, isn't it? Or red in English. Don't know. Don't know, but I definitely put too much on there. Oh, you know, I'm doing you too much anyway. And we're just gonna give ourselves a little flush and blend that in together. I love a blush. I do love a blush. I love the word blush. Blush. <gasps> Let me show you. Got a little bit of the dog hair on, but look at this. Wait there. I'm gonna finish my blush in a minute, but look at this. Okay, so you put your feet in there. You put your feet in here. It's a foot warmer. Look at it. Look at it. <gasps> What's it called? Yes. Penguin Foot Cozy. Look at her. Look. She's so cute. She's smiling. And you put your little feet in there. It's like one big slipper. Oh my God, I love it so much. Thanks mum, you're the best. I love it so much because I always get cold. I always get cold feet. So now I can sit there editing with my feet in my penguin cozy. It's so cute. I want to do even more makeup tutorials for 2018. I want to do loads of different things for you. I just want to give you a really good content so that you enjoy watching me and enjoy my channel. Like, I love having all of you so much. I don't want to lose any of you. So whatever you want to see, please write down below. Like, please tell me what you want to see. Please tell me video ideas because you're all a lot better at this than me. So you can tell me. And also, I want to put videos out there that you want to watch. So please... Please don't hold back on the video suggestions. Like, if there's something you want to see, I will do it for my angel. Last, but by no means least, my lip colour, my favourite lip combo ever. So this is my go-to, like, my go-to. Like, when you see me on Snapchat, when you see me on most things, this is what I've got on my lips. So, this is the Rimmel Lip Liner in Cappuccino. My stomach's making noises, babes. I fed you an hour ago. Do you want more? You want more? I'm going to go with my Soap and Glory Super Nude Matte. Obsessed. Obsessed. Obsessed, shall I tell you again? Oh. Take my hair out, because you know that is the last thing we need to do. Have it a little, give it a little brush, but this is my everyday go-to makeup routine. I'm so in love with it, I love it so much. It's really natural, it's really fresh. I think my skin looks really nice, the glow on my skin. I love the little blue on my waterline. I love this color, it's my favorite ever go-to lip color. The nude just gives me everything. It's like a pinky nude, it goes with the blush. Drugstore. Loving our lives with drugstore. I'll link these lashes down below, by the way. I love my brows. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I think this is a really easy makeup look. I, mean, I know this video is probably long, but this is really quick. Like, you can do this really quick, but nothing's quick when I got my hands. I just want to always talk to you. So I'm going to zoom you out and we're going to have a little chat. I'm on the fourth day. I haven't washed my hair because I normally wash my hair every four days. I wash my body every day. Don't worry about angels, but my hair doesn't really get greasy until like the fourth day. So we're on the fourth day and it's greasy. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Dry shampoo got none in the room so we're just gonna try and make it work we're gonna make it work 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 we ain't gotta go to work 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 but you gotta put a work wash your hair in mo you little smelly yell not smelly i don't smell also, by the way, I used these rollers four days ago. I'm obsessed with them. I got them for Christmas. I'm actually obsessed with them. It's the easiest way to do your hair ever. If you want me to do a tutorial on that, please let me know how to get this easy, big, bouncy blow hair. I mean, I know it's four days in, but I am obsessed. Probably didn't help that I wore a hat today. That's probably why the top isn't loving its life. Anyway, please give this video a massive thumbs up. I'd be so grateful of your support. I can't even explain it to you. Please hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would love you so much. I love you so much anyway for even watching this video, but I would really be so, so grateful. I can't wait to share everything with you in 2018 and do even more makeup tutorials, do even more challenges, do everything, do more vlogs, do more testing videos, do more hauls. I just love YouTube. I'm obsessed with YouTube and I'm obsessed with all of you so much. So if you're new to my channel, then basically we play a sound game. You just got to guess a song that I'm mom and food. Oh my god, I love that 
song is from the film that I was mentioning earlier. I just basically gave the song game away. But anyway, I've got shout outs to do. Okay, so I've got a message from your boyfriend, Hannah Hinmarsh. Hannah Hinmarsh, Angel, I love you so much. I hope you have the best birthday on the 30th of December. I love you so, so much. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for watching my videos. I can't even explain it to you. You've got a lovely boyfriend because you messaged me. And also, I've got a shout out to Nathan and Annika. I met you, my angels. When you're in Manchester, I love you so much. Nathan messaged me, Annika, and I know that it's your birthday coming up. So I hope you have the, hope you have the best birthday ever. I love you both so much. So until next time, angels, I'm going to love you. And I'm going to leave you. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Oh, creaky chair, babes. Do you think you'll ever leave me? Don't think you will, Angel, will you? Stay with me forever. Please don't. I'm going to go get a new one for Marcus. Okay. <sighs> yes, I talk to myself. I love you. Bye, Angel.